Okay, guys, one more time. Welcome for those who are live right now to the online winter training class. The first lesson is going to be about serving and caring. And this is just the basic, guys. I hope that you have seen the lesson one and lesson two, the videos. I hope you read the PDF files, you learn it. Uh, I don't see so many people checking out on the on the website that they have learned that and they have taken those classes. Make sure that when you read the PDF files, watch the videos, watch the extra videos, check that you have completed the class so I can see that you guys are going through and I will start sending you a test. And I would expect that you complete those tests and send it back to me, okay? Now, back to the lesson. What as the waiters will be expected from you on your first day at work to carry? Because let's face it, once you get hired for a job, I don't care if it's a busboy job or a backup waiter job, of course, head waiter, you have to be able to do the basic stuff. And that's what we're talking right now. More videos and more information is on the lessons, on the waiters and on the website. So you can just learn really thoroughly. Today we will talk about the basics. So when you get to the job, you really know what to do. Don't make so many mistakes. Don't get so much yell at you. Not so much stress, not so much pressure. Basically guys, what we carry is trays, a drink tray, a small round drink tray. You put the glasses, you carry that. Now, drink trays we carry with the left hand because 100% of the time we serve the drinks with our right hand from the right side of the guest. <clears throat> we'll talk later about that. Tray, we carry food trays. This is a small food tray. Usually food tray is about four times bigger. I have carried really big trays that you can put eight main courses next to each other. Eight big plates. Now, <clears throat> we carry those with the hand that it's stronger because those things, those trays full with plates are really heavy. In many books, in many countries, you will learn that you have to carry this with your left hand. That's a bullshit. Ignore that. You carry that with your strong hand, with the hand that you feel comfortable with. So when you carry those things, make sure that you are carrying it with your palm spread, your palm looking back, close to your shoulder, don't put it on your shoulder, close to your shoulder, and we talk about how you spread the plates and everything else after that. But that's it. If your strong hand is the left hand, the same way, you put it in the middle, you spread your hand, turn it back, close to your shoulder, and carry it. Another thing that we carry is a food platter. Those platters stay in the kitchen, and when we have Russian service or uh, banquet service, soup de or something like that, they put the food on the platter, we carry that to the guest, and you serve the food with a spoon and fork directly from the platter to the guest. We'll talk about that. So that's about getting trays. Another thing we carry is plates. So today I will show you the different hand grips of carrying plates the proper way to serve them. So when you go to the restaurant, as a new waiter, you know exactly what to do. You don't be scared, you don't be pressured, you just go to the table, you know how to perform, how to carry those plates, how to put them in front of the guest, everything is nice and clear. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And let's start. 
Now, couple important things. Trace. It is very important, guys, when you carry a tray, the safety. The safety is probably the most important thing when you carry a tray. Sometimes we carry heavy stuff that can fall on somebody's head, foot, break something. We carry very hot things on our trays. We carry sauces, we carry some teas with boiling water. So this is very important that you know how exactly to set up the plates, the saucers, the teapots on the plate, on the tray, so you don't injure somebody and you don't create some real serious problems. So, the first thing to know is make sure that the weight is spread evenly. What does that mean? You have a plate, you have to put it on a tray. It stays in the kitchen, the salads are ready. You don't put them like that and carry them. That's not even split. You make sure that in the middle is the heaviest stuff or everything is spread so that the tray doesn't have off balance weight. If you carry two plates, you put them like that that everything is spread in them properly and you have a balance on the tray when you carry. You carry three plates. The basic rule is when you set up a tray with plates, with food, to put the heavy items on the side of the shoulder. So if I carry this plate, this tray with my left hand, I will make sure that the heavy items are on the side of the shoulder. But anyway, that doesn't mean that on this side you have more weight than on the other side. You put enough light items on the other side so you balance the tray. But if you lose, if you lose balance, those heavy items sitting on this side are most probably kill the tray on the left on the on the inside and it's going to hit your shoulder and you'll be able to help. If those heavy items on the left side, on the outside, that's not going to be possible. And if I carry this with my right hand, the heavy items still sitting on this side, the light items sitting on the outside. This is the rule, that's basic. So, you see, you spread evenly and that's what helps you keep the balance. Make sure that your palm is spread as much as you can. And if it's not so heavy, like this tray right now, it's not heavy, you can carry it like that on your fingers. It's possible. Some people I see carry even very heavy trays on their fingers, and you carry it like that, fingers pointing up. But when you put it on a palm, you turn the palm up, and you carry like that. Very, very important thing. When you carry sauces, teapots, soups, pots that you pour soup from, uh, from the pot into the cup, those are hot items. You direct the opening. Not to yourself, because imagine you carry a hot tea and you put the pot and the pot is looking to your shoulder. You lose a little balance and this hot water pours into your body, you get burned. Make sure the pot opening is looking inside the tray. The same thing is don't put it on outside looking out. Because you go around the tables and you go around the people and you lose little balance and this hot water is pulling down 
fall on somebody's head, a guest head, that's the most terrible thing that could happen. It happens, so make sure that when you put pot, you put the openings to look to the tray, to the middle of the tray. So if you lose balance and some hot water or hot sauce fell, it's gonna fall on the tray and not gonna be so bad. Another healthy issue we have, guys, sometimes when we work banquets, I have carried um, more than 16, 16, and more than 16 plates at the same time. And that makes the tray really, really heavy. And it is very important that you lift the tray properly and you put the tray properly on the tray jack or on the side station. So you have the tray, it stays down low, it's full. Sometimes it's like 20 kilos on the tray, trust me. You, have, you encounter something like that. So it stays down low. You gotta go and get it. You don't do bend over from your back. Huh? Because once you try to lift it, your back takes all the pressure and I seen some bad things. Next two or three months, you cannot even walk, not walk. So when the tray is down, you keep your body up, straight up. You go down with your legs, with your knees, and you lift straight up with your legs. That's very, very important. Do not underestimate this when you have stress, when you run, when it's busy, and you run and don't care about this and you don't care about that. Two times you lift with your back a heavy tray, that's 99% problem. And the same thing is when you put the tray on the tray jack or on the side station. Don't just keep it like that with your back again. Use your knees, use your legs. You go close to the tray, to the tray jack or the table, and you just go down straight. You keep your body straight, just legs down, put it, get up, and keep moving. So that's really important to know and follow. When you carry the tray, the food tray. Don't put it on the shoulder. Sometimes the trays are heavy. You walk a long distance and you get tired. You put it on the shoulder. That's a, that's crying for disaster because when you walk, the shoulder bounces. The tray bounces from the shoulder, and it's if you not flip, it doesn't flip. The, the drinks or the food or whatever you have, the sauces, they will start falling apart. It's not going to be a, a good-looking dish no more. So make sure that you carry the tray very close to the shoulder, but don't push it, don't put it on the, on the shoulder because that's dangerous too. The only other thing I can tell you about the trays, don't show off. When you feel really comfortable, you can carry heavy trays on your fingers, you can carry trays up when you go through a crowd and things like that. Make sure that you're really, really good with that. You've done it. And what I would suggest, guys, is you at home or at work, whatever you are right now, start practicing. Watching those lessons, learning those PDF files, not going to do the job. You watch those videos and you learn. So when you go to the restaurant today, you start practice and you really get the experience of how to carry trays and how to carry plates and you start getting better and better by the day and that's what take about a week most of the time it takes a week to learn to carry tray a drink tray or a food tray without any problems so start practice even before you start your job and by the time your day is come and you go to the restaurant or the bar and you start working, you'll be able to impress your coworkers, your managers, and trust me, you will reduce the stress tremendously. 
Now, Dream Trace. I have a very good video about Dream Trace, carrying dreams and serving dreams as an extra video on the lessons. So make sure that you watch that. Uh, my colleagues, young colleagues, explain how they carry trace and why they carry that. I will go really quick here with the, with the basic points. Like I said, we carry the drink tray with the left hand. Usually don't carry it here like the food tray. We carry down or a little up. Now, you see this angle? It's about 45 degrees. That makes the tray not so heavy. If you carry it 90 degrees, the pressure on the, on the hand is going to be much bigger. If you carry it here, this pressure is reduced because of the angle. Now, if you don't have strong fingers or the tray is too heavy, sometimes I carry trays that I cannot carry on my finger because they are just too heavy. It's better if you carry it like that. Yeah. More balance, fingers not strong enough. This with your palm, make sure your palm is always, always straight. Don't keep it like that huh? because the tray can kill. You keep it like that and you have more balance on the tray, on the drinks. So this is probably the first week, first couple of weeks, a month, how you carry trays, how a waiters, a new waiter carry tray. Then you get more comfortable, you get some experience and you start carrying like that. It's much easier, it's much more comfortable, not so much pressure on your hand. Of course, more pressure on your fingers, but fingers getting stronger too. Now, when you put the drinks, you make sure that you put the heavy items right in the middle of the tray. So when you put, for example, the bottle of water in the middle, and it's the, usually the heaviest thing that you get on a, on a drink tray, that what creates your balance. And then you put around the cocktails or the drinks or the glasses or anything like that. And that a good thing is that in order to serve the water, or if you have wine or if you have uh, Coca-Cola, the first thing you do is you have to take the glass and put it on the, on the table. And then you take the cola and the water and you pour it. Imagine you put the water here and you put the glass in the middle. You take the glass and there is no balance no more because the heavy item is on the edge of the tail of the tray. You lose balance. Another very important thing, guys, when you go to serve the drinks, and this is probably the most scary thing for a new waiter, yeah? because when you put the tray or the, the drinks on the tray, you can do that. And when you carry the tray, even if you don't feel comfortable, you can hold it with your right hand and carry it. Young waiters, no problem. Don't worry about it, don't feel embarrassed. Make sure that you safety first. If somebody tells you something, you will just reply with a smile, hey, safety first. In a couple of days, I'll be able to carry without holding it. Right now, safety is first. So hold it, carry it to the test. But when you get to the table, you cannot hold it with both hands because you have to serve it. Huh? That's why it's very important that you create a really good balance. And now, you go to the table. Those guests not always pay attention to you. They talk, they enjoy themselves and things like that. You go close and you want to serve to the guest. The tray usually stays right behind his head. So you can put the drink with your right hand on the right side. Once the guest sees that you are putting something in front of him, his normal reaction is to make place, space for you. So he goes back. And what happens is his head hits the tray, everything goes down, the guests get injured, the drinks will go down, the bartender is pissed off, the manager is pissed off. So this is very important thing to watch and be careful about when you carry the tray and when you serve the tray. That's why I like to keep it here, because this way, when I serve it, the guest, even if he goes back with his head, you know, head not gonna hit my tray, it's a, and not uh, dangerous. But anyway, so when you do carry the tray like that and you serve the drinks and you go between the guests, you can just make an angle. So this tray doesn't stay behind his head a little bit further and then serve with your right hand in front of the guest from his right side. Basically, that's what it is. If you don't have heavy items, if you have some a couple of glasses or anything like that, you try to put everything 
as close to the middle as possible. And what you do is you take first the items that you're going to put on the table last. And then backwards. So we keep the, the same, the back of the road. You put first this glass, this glass, this glass, and you take it backwards. And that's how the tray stays balanced all the time. This is all I have to tell you about the trays. Like I said, read the PDF files. There's more information there. Uh, watch the extra videos. You see young waitresses uh, showing you how they do that and why they do that. And um, you will learn. Um, one more thing, guys. When you are really, really inexperienced and you go to the restaurant and you don't know what to do, but the guy, the bartender tells you, hey, take this tray to table 25. I don't care if you're new or young or whatever, what you do, you have never carried a tray, you go to the restaurant, you start working, you have to carry a tray. I don't care. You take it with both hands and carry it out. It's funny, it's embarrassing, but if you don't feel comfortable carrying with one hand, carry with two hands. When you go to the table, find a side station or the side table or whatever, put the tray down and start serving the drinks. But make sure that this is only your first or second day. If you keep doing the same thing on the third and fourth, that means that you're not learning, you're not putting enough effort into this business, into this job, and that's not good, okay?